We are a 54% women-owned business and for us it is important not to lose our femininity to retain that while obviously getting into a world that is predominantly male dominated. So we believe when you get to a meeting you represent not just Motewo women, you represent the women of the country and people more importantly must know you know what you're talking about. So we train our people aggressively, especially the women. We make sure that when they go on sites, they have the authority that is required. If you are going to a meeting, don't appear at the meeting like you are a contractor from a site. Even if you are from a site, go and take a quick shower and present yourself as such. So we pay a lot of attention on how we present ourselves, which maybe I can add here that sometimes I criticize the women, especially those who are in male-dominated industries. Why do you have to look like a man? For heaven's sake, I think they are trying to look like us. Representing ourselves adequately and properly helps move the business forward because in a lot of instances, it's better now. But when I started, people know there's this women-owned business. Then you pitch the picture that you cannot then represent the business well. So that has worked for us because this pushing the women to be achievers at the highest level has assisted them to gain respect and recognition that has catapulted this business. Everybody who talks about Motel today knows we are genuinely empowered, we genuinely represent the women, we genuinely have equity partners who are women because we go out there and we demonstrate that. The female entrepreneurs in male-dominated industries must for a moment pause and forget they are female in terms of the thinking. I think the feminine part package it somewhere, leave it at home, walk in, and I'm not saying now we must start dressing up and looking like a man, but I'm saying in your thinking, in your determination, in your approach towards that business, just for a moment, package the female part, leave it somewhere, and act like the men do, number one. Number two, most important for me, these women who are in these industries such as mine, such, such as construction, must begin to work together I just find we're not working together as much as we should. And that's a big gap, which I believe can still be addressed.